finally. Oh. <laughs> okay. Lord, you're so good. Amen. Thank you for awesome food, and thank you for these people that are incredible and patient and loving and gifted. And we just surrender this time to you that there's no fear. And I just thank you, God, because you are a part of this process with us, and that's what matters. So would you come and, and have room to show who you are through these? And, and I pray that this time would be one where each student would draw even closer to you through the time that they present this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So I just want to remind everybody, I should have done this before Sephora went, and I apologize. I forgot. But I want to remind everyone of the topic of this presentation, and that is identity. So it's really to show who God has revealed that you are in this time through DTS. When everything is stripped away, what's left in Christ? And what has God been saying about your identity specifically? Cool. So I also want to remind everybody that the, the main goal of these presentations are your processes with the Lord. So the time that you present, it doesn't matter how it's presented to us. That's what right. really matters is the process you got with the Lord. That's right. So if you receive revelation, if you receive breakthrough with Jesus and grew closer to Jesus, then you succeed. Mm -hmm. Just want to remind everybody of that. So the wave is off. Just enjoy it. Just have fun because the real part of it is finished, and that's the process of it. So now it's presenting. And then thirdly, we're going to do this voluntarily. So those who or need more action and stuff, can have more time to digest. So the first, oh, sorry, Anton is going when we get back because his computer doesn't hook up to the projector correctly. So when we get back, we'll watch Anton's. And I think that's everybody who needs to go later. Sorry, we didn't realize that earlier. Cool. And we have a projector for those computers at work and mic and sound system. So who wants to go first and get it out of the way? Yeah. Yeah. Come on up. Oh, and you guys also, you feel free to share like what the Lord did in the process as well. Anything cool, any breakthrough or whatever. Thanks. Go, Dad. Go. You guys are so beautiful. I can't believe that this is the last time that I'll see you guys all wearing pretty clothes. <laughs> so this is my project. When I was doing this, then I really wanted to create something that I would be able to always look back to after DTS and remember the process that God took me through for the last six months. So, um, when I asked God what he wanted me to do, he told me to do something with my hands and I wanted to make something or draw something, but I also wanted to write something. So. Here I wrote my name in Korean and also in Chinese characters because that's very special to me. So my Korean name is Jihae, but there's two meanings. So my mom's last name is Ji, so it can work as Ji, and then my name is He, which is in Chinese characters Grace, but it also works because Jihae means wisdom. So I love my name because there is a lot in it and it gives me identity in that already. And then my English name is Danielle and Sigoing. And when I was thinking about how God worked in me to shape my identity more deeply in his love for the past six months, he reminded me of how much light is special to me now, especially in this season of my life. And he gave me a picture of a lighthouse. <clears throat> so if you see here, I'm pretty sure you can't see, but there's a little lighthouse looking thing. And then there's like six big beams of light that come out from it. At first there were just three, 
like lines that came out because the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But a lot of people have been telling me that they feel like God is telling me to dream bigger. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, Valentina prophesied for me to that. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people, not only yesterday, but a lot of people have been telling me that. And I thought, how can I dream bigger with this project? And he said, um, draw six lines, not three lines. So that means that he will multiply two times more, but that's, that's still in my limitation. I believe that he will make me dream three times and four times and five times bigger. So that means that. And also, for me, my family was so special to me and we always identified ourselves as happy five. That was what we called our homeschool. But I never brought God into that picture. So six is now a more special number to me because God is number one, and then my dad, and then my mom, and then my sisters, and then me. So six is a special number to me now. And then if you look at the edges, then there are a total of 48 like corners. That was all my thinking. (laughs) 48 divided by 3, which is the Holy Spirit, is 16, which is the number of our students. And so there was a lot of math (laughs) put into this. (laughs) And then I also wrote all of the words that, um, of the things that were most special to me during DKS. So family, home, travel, church, love, trust, food, connection, work, beauty, diversity, wisdom, growth, art, loyalty. And my statement, my identity statement, I am an intimately known, empathetic, fearless daughter of God. All right, who's the second one? The lucky winner. Someone's going to be voluntold. <laughs> Stephanie, I volunteer. told me um, you're going to be using your voice your words don't worry I'm not going to sing I, I wouldn't do that to you guys um, but he said I'll be speaking uh, because that's something that was a breakthrough for me being here um, not just speaking to you guys or in small groups or with my testimony um, but just speaking with God and um, using my voice as authority. Um, 
But so, so then I was waiting for the assignment and I prayed and then it wasn't coming and um, I was waiting and then I thought, are you being irresponsible? Because maybe you're not setting the time aside to really, really pray. Like, do I need to spend like 30 minutes to get the assignment? And I was like, no, like, I felt like Holy Spirit was like, no, I'll tell you when. So then it came uh, when I was having a conversation with Maria at, um, with the drivers and navigators, um, little lunch thing that we had. And um, I, think, I think Maria was just complimenting me on, on the way that I eat, that we eat the same or something. And because we're both like, you know, going in on the lamb and we're just like with the bones and just using our hands and, you know, we don't care. Like we're just grabbing salt and we put sauces and all this other stuff. <laughs> and we just don't, we just weren't holding back. And then um, she said it as a compliment. I'm like, whoa, like, why does, like, I don't know why it stuck to me. It's like, that's not so flattering. It's just, you know, Maria was saying a joke, but it was like a compliment. She's like, good job. And something happened of like, wow, I never used to be like this. Just off of the example of me eating, like I would have never eaten like this in front of people. It's so weird, but then God was like, oh, process. And then Holy Spirit right there at the table was like, you're going to be speaking on your process um, with God. Dang. I always want to cry, guys. I'm sorry. Cry, please. (laughs) Okay, fine. Um... So, uh, uh, can somebody just stand with me here? So God um, asked me to share with you my, just a few of my private prayers. Um, So he had me look back in my journal from the beginning of my DTS and write down some of my entries and um, say them to you as a story and show you guys how my intimacy with God changed and my faith changed. And, um, I'm crying because some of the things are sad, what I wrote, and it's good tears because um, I don't speak that way anymore, and I don't think of myself that way anymore, and I don't, and um, yeah, just my faith has increased in this program, so I'm going to just, uh, I have some notes here, and these are, um, <laughs> so these are some of my real um, things that I wrote. There was so many to choose from and things that I learned, but this is just to kind of, uh, like Jamie said, I, um, I received the, the assignment. Like, I, like, it was a messy one, and I kept, so at some point I would write, and then I would procrastinate, and then write, and then procrastinate, because I knew it was so heavy. It's like, it basically the question was like, wake up in the morning, I have like two hours to do this. Um, in these two hours, Stephanie, do you want to cry like a baby? And then I would just like choose, and I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't feel like crying, because I know that's what's going to happen. But um, So, uh, and um, shout out to Shemaya for helping me to just use my voice in acting. So when I speak, I'm going to be speaking as if I'm that person. But just know that the prayers are going to get better. Um, thank you, Shemaya. <laughs> um, you're calling me to something new. God, get me out of my mess I've made. But is this right? Am I making a mistake? But you said to go, but was that really you? Or is that my coward, selfish ways again? God, today I really feel 
I need to go. I mean, I've asked you time and time again to send me out somewhere so I can get lost with you and study you and know you. I need a reason to escape to you. I don't think it's wrong if I go, right? Okay, God, I'll go and trust you to take care of all the issues I have. This hurts so bad to leave things in such toxic confusion at home, but I need to try to seek you like never before. I hope this works. Wow, God, you did it. You helped me get here. Thank you, Lord, for a new chance and a new change. I don't want to let you down. This place is amazing, and I feel so excited for the new. Good morning. Wow, worship in the Ohana court was amazing. I did struggle to press in. Just so many thoughts in my mind. I pray everyone's comfortability in worship loosens up to really express their love for God. This is a stiff crowd. Maybe that's why they had us all massage the backs of the people next to us. <laughs> Are these those kumbaya type of people? <laughs> Good night. Lord, help me love my roommates the best way I know how. I want them to feel at home and comforted. I want all the team to feel welcome. I hope they can feel my prayers in this room. Man, Aliyah is so hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Let me learn from all of them. Lord, these days are challenging. I don't feel qualified to be here. I feel I know nothing and so unequipped. Or maybe that's a lie. You showed me all my pains and situations and said you would use them to help me grow and people will be healed by it. I've seen you do this before. What happened to me? Where's my faith gone? Why do I feel so weak? God, I need help to speak. Lord, help me worship you in spirit and truth in all authenticity. Search my heart, filter my ways. Let me see my worth through your worth. Let me put your worth into action in my life. Wow, God, today in rehearsal for the actors, I was so hurt more than I could imagine. This role is too convicting and heavy. I know I don't have too many words, but the role name is enough for me to run away. Help me understand acting. Help me understand why in the world would you put me to play this role? A role that I'm most scared of at such a time like this. <sighs> Shemaya was funny though, and him and CJ did great calming me down from having a meltdown. Oh man, God, these people are so hilarious. I love these people. I can't think of not living with them. My heart is growing so fast, Lord. Thank you for this moment of joy. Lord, you're testing my views on myself again. How can you say I'm beautiful? My heart hasn't been beautiful or my actions. Help me understand your way of thinking. Ugh. So much just doesn't make sense. Good night, Father. Father, today you reminded me and gave me the revelation that you brought me here. You made a way to get me secluded on an island with you under your hand and protection. Lord, I can't doubt it. You want me here for identity. You want me to be 100% transparent and confess it all. You want to show me who I am, like the vision of the glass city in my belly, in the middle of the ocean, just me and you. How do I do this, though? I can't imagine the outcome. I think I'm going to be sick. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your vision of peaceful green grass field where I had a moment to feel what it was like to walk with no shame or burden, where I got a washing of my mind. Holy Spirit, your words handle, your words handle truth with care. Take transparency serious. Don't forget the glass transparent city. Glass is fragile. Be honest with God. Lord, no, this isn't what I intended to happen. I did what you told me and now I've made it even bigger mess. I've been transparent and thought confessing would help me become free. I can't do this anymore. I did what you told me, and now I'm stripped away from any value of self. Help me, Lord. I have no hope. The kingdom of heaven is like a very precious treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid again. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all he has and buys that field, securing the treasure for himself. Matthew 13, 44. God, help me to know what you want from me right now. Lord, help me walk in repentance and true humility. Fill the void in my heart. Take my burdens and guide me to surrender. No more false humility from shame. I know you're all I need. 
You are the only one I seek. You will be my beginning and end of my story. And that's final. Lord, thank you for this community. I love them all more and more every day. I know we're all in our own struggle or victories here, but man, God, help me get to know them more and make them feel loved. God, you're showing me more of what's to come on this trip. Thank you. Thank you for your little ways of reminding me I'm loved and worthy when I'm in your presence and through these amazing people. Lord, I want, I want to know what you have for these nations. I can't wait to be used by you. Ah, I'm so excited. Lord, I'm so glad the mask of shame and doubt is off. I'm so free to be who you called me to be. Lord, give me more ways to pray for the team. I want to see them transformed too. I don't want anyone to feel alone or unqualified. Give me more visions for them, Lord. I really need more alone time with you. I know my victory won't maintain on its own. Lord, help me control my thoughts and desires. Be my main right now. Lord, I'm still holding up as much as I can. This season hasn't been comfortable, but wow, time has flown, and I just need help to be present. Help me calm down from thinking too much of the next. Lord, I'm ready for your full hit of all you have for me. God, you're so good. Obedience is a privilege and a choice. I want to always choose. Thank you for ministry, Lord. Thank you for humbling me. These people's, these people's faces, these testimonies from the team. Wow, Lord, you're moving in others and us. Breakthroughs all around. Yes, Jesus. Lord, help me to continue to work on being a good student and one day a good teacher or leader. It will be so humbling, but I want the change. Continue to help me reprioritize what really matters to you. Help me align to your ways and love you more. Father God, what is this joy I have in my life, in my heart? I feel so rich in love, so rich in strength, and so rich in faith. Hold me up. Don't let me come down from this. Thank you, Jesus. God, my commitment to you in this season has been incredible. I fear nothing. I am stable in your presence. I am not perfect, but know I'm fully validated by you. I am forgiven, a forgiven vessel, walking in victory. I'm so brave only because of you. Thank you for all you've orchestrated in my life this year. I started my DTS knowing I would be challenged and healed. God didn't show me how, but that much I knew for sure. My process went from doubt and self to going through the process to make Jesus in my life more consistent and in the forefront. My faith and prayers and priorities all have been repositioned. God has me go through all my had me go through all my notes to remember how far I've come, and I'm forever grateful. All of you have helped me by your prayers and influence in my life especially the young ones here. Heartbridge has taught me so much and humbled me in the best ways. It's exposed the parts God always wanted. It's encouraged me to stay calm and intercede. I will miss all of you and can't thank the staff enough for the deep talks, hysterical laughs, one-on-one -on -one time, your patience and respect to me. My heart has grown and I love, I hope we all keep this unity and love and trust for the years to come wherever God sends us. Amen. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to talk about the gift that God gave me during this DTS. Yeah. One, language. 
Can you pull it? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> so, <laughs> the problem I faced I most in this DTS was language. When I first came to Y1, I couldn't understand what everyone was saying. But through that problem, the Bible and the God, um, God have taught me to pray. So I prayed to God every day. Since God listens to my prayers, he taught me how to learn to keep trying to be patient and to give effort step by step. Amen. <laughs> Two, serving. During DTS, I saw many people serving each other every day. Mm. It was my first experience to live together with people other than my family for a long time. Through this experience, I learned the meaning of helping each other. Three, <coughs> beauty. God took me to various places in the world and showed me many beautiful things. God also changed my values that I, that I have thought humans were not beautiful. Mm. <laughs> when we human beings have God's love for each other, God told me that we are beautiful about this through various experiences. Mm. And four, encouragement. Many people gave me words of encouragement. I was also happy that some people sang me Hosanna song. <laughs> <laughs> I was filled with the love of God, thanks to you. And from now on, I want to be a person who is able to encourage people around me. Mm -hmm. Five, patience. There were times to be patient with understanding English, dance practice, health problems. Through all those experiences, God has made me more patient. Mm -hmm. Six, sacrifice. I could see many people using their own time and using what they have for God. I also want to use what God has given me for God. Mm. Seven, kindness and goodness. When I needed help, everyone helped me so much. And when my staff was, staff was gone, some people shared their own stuff for me. <laughs> Eight, bonds of friendship. I'm really happy to have made a bonds of friendship with everyone, with different identities from different countries. Nine, love. In the, <laughs> in the DTS, the foundation of all good things and happiness was love of God. I want to give this love to my friends and family after returning to Japan. Mm. And 10, obedience to God. My next step, next step is to join the Heartbridge Internship from January of next year. I believe this is a plan for my growth that God has prepared for me. 2020 outreach will go to Japan. It is the first time in 10 years that I have shared the gospel in my country through performance. I think this is a new mission to Japan given by God. I have seen clearly that God is connecting and linking points in my life and other people's lives. Yeah. I'd like to obey to the Lord with everyone. Mm. 
and I want to grow up more. And I want to see God's vision in the future. Yes, that's it. <laughs> And one more thing, I'm, <laughs> I'm still working on drawing fun about DTS entire story. And I'm not finished, so <laughs> I will. Thank you. Well, again, I'm shook by your English. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Awesome. Thank you. My gosh. All right. Who's the lucky winner? <coughs> Come on, girl. Let's go, Michaela. <laughs> okay, um, so I have a fear of public speaking, so this is a great time. Go Michaela. I know, bring me down, bring me down. Go Michaela. But um, I was planning on singing because, you know, it's comfortable. And God was like, no, that's not what we're doing. So um, he had me write a poem. Um, or spoken words, whatever you would like to say it is. But um, yeah, so it's very uh, it's very hard to write. Um, um, yeah, but it was a really good time. Uh, I was really fighting on. <laughs> I did not know how to finish this, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna read them. It's called Overcoming Fear. Fear is what portrays within or deepest dreads of our deepest sense. Through seas of vast confusion lay those thoughts in which through them convey. What makes us feel like grains of sand lost in a void of mayhem. Taking our time, our energy, our focus, our lives as we know it, it changes can into maybe not. It fills our minds with scary thoughts, breaking our hearts. I think I can, but never try. The fear is buried deep inside. Am I really living? Am I really alive? Making us relive the past and overthink the future. Fear eats you alive and makes you not want to go further. I grew tired of the overwhelming thoughts and the chaos that ruled my life. Fear of man, fear of me, and fear of everything in between. But fear doesn't belong to me. Jesus died to set me free. To not be a slave to fear, but to run with courage and speak life into others. God wrecked me with his love, and nothing can compare to the glory of resting with him and having no fears. Opening my heart to give words and to sing songs meant for the healing of the broken souls that Jesus wants to cover and show them, with his, show them his love. Fear is not my identity anymore. Amen. A beloved bride, a daughter of the king, knowing that I am no longer me. I am his and his forever. I am a prophet a leader, a worshiper for his kingdom, helping others to expand their minds, releasing their fear so that they can fully run with him, leaving everything else behind. So I'll ask you some questions, ones to truly reflect on. What if we stopped accepting fear as our identity and started walking in joy and unconditional love? How different would life be? Are you willing to let go? To be liberated from bondage and, to, and fully trust and know that God never created you to be filled with pain and anxiety. So know your identity, walk out your purpose, and overcome fear. Amen. Come up after that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time. Oh my god. Five, six. Who's next? What did it do, bro? Okay, I'm going to volunteer somebody. 
I'm gonna voluntold. Let's do Rudy. Sorry. <laughs> Rudy, do you need me to hold anything? No, I wanted to play the jazz music, but that's fine. Jazz music? Whose phone no, is this? I, do you want it? No, no. Okay. <laughs> to be so. Mm. Who am I? I'm an athlete who enjoyed playing basketball. I used to think so. Who am I? I am one who goes along with the crowd in all the fashion trends. Mm. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? I am someone who enjoys listening to music to create an identity. Live in my imagination. I used to think so. Who am I? I am someone who pursues wild dreams and ventures off to different states and to Miami and intern at Sony Records. That was me. So, who am I? I am someone who traveled across the coast to go to a school I knew nothing about. That was me. So, who am I? I am someone who now dabbles in, who used to dabble in different beliefs, searching for truth. I used to think so. Who am I? I am chasing after, I used to chase after girls and hardly could afford rent in NYC, that was me, so. Who am I? I was a daydreamer, searching for a better life. That was me. So, who am I? I'm someone who turned to drugs to experiment, to feel something different. That was me. That used to be me, so. So, who am I? I used to be a wanderer who traveled to different, I am a wanderer who traveled to different states to start over, to be successful. That was me. So, who am I? I am someone who was constantly reaching for something greater than myself, overcoming fear of failure, not afraid of what people think. That was me. So. Who am I? I am someone who dropped NYC not knowing where I'll be. Now a Kona DTS thing. Who 
that was me, so. Who am I? 